Is Target Lock slept on? If you've seen these two videos, you'll know that I hyped this perk up a solid amount, while it seems like no one else has, and that got me thinking. Is this perk actually worth it? Well, I tested the perk out a bit to get an idea of how much the damage boost is for the weapon, when the perk procs, how consistent the perk is, and more. So today, let's see whether or not Target Lock is actually worth getting. Let's start off with what Target Lock actually does. If you know what it does already, feel free to skip to the time on screen to get to testing. But the perk description is the following. Damage increases the longer the weapon stays on a target. What this means is that as long as you are consistently hitting your shots on a target, you'll be receiving a damage bonus. Knowing what the perk does now, let's dive into the more specific parts of it. Let's start with the damage bonus. The damage bonus for this perk works like this. As you're continuously hitting a target with your shot, you'll gradually receive stacks of damage. These stacks are roughly 8% apiece and stacks up to 5 times, meaning if you have 5 stacks, you'll have a roughly 40% damage bonus on your weapon. Now while this does sound awesome, this perk is pretty strict on the conditions to keep it going. Here's what I mean. Let's say for an example you are firing at a target. If for whatever reason you miss one shot, whether it be your tracking was too slow when the boss was moving or some other reason, you lose all stacks of the perk. Furthermore, if you stop shooting for any reason, you immediately lose all stacks of this perk. If for any reason one bullet in your magazine does not hit a target, all of your stacks go away immediately. Learning this definitely opened my eyes a lot more on this perk and it became much more clear as to where this perk will be most useful. And those areas of the game are against enemies that are slow or just not moving, like bosses and stun champions. But before we jump to conclusions, let's go a bit deeper into this perk and learn some more things regarding target lock. The main things I want to discuss for this section are the following. Does the damage bonus for target lock depend on what weapon type you are using, similar to how Vorpal weapon works, and when in the mag does it proc? Let's answer each question one at a time. Beginning with the first question, the damage bonus does not depend on what weapon type you are using. That means that if you are using a heavy weapon that has target lock, as long as you are able to keep your bullets on your target, you can achieve a 40% damage bonus, which correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that this means this is the highest damage bonus a heavy weapon can get. Drop a comment down below to let me know if I'm wrong. Anyways, the second question is a lot more complicated. Rather than having the perk proc at a designated point in the weapon's magazine, it depends on several other factors that affect the weapon's magazine, such as what magazine perk you have, perks like reconstruction, and more. I tested target lock via the 7th Seraph Carbine auto rifle from the new dungeon, in which my role only had reconstruction to affect the magazine. Here's what I found. For the 7th Seraph Carbine, which in my testing only had reconstruction, procced all 5 stacks, and those stacks showed up at the following points. Target lock times 1 procced at 9% of the magazine used. Target lock times 2 procced at 19% of the magazine used. Target lock times 3 procced at 28%. Target lock times 4 procced at 38% of the magazine used. And target lock times 5 procced at 55% of the magazine used. So in this instance, this would mean that you would have a 40% damage bonus for 45% of the magazine, or for this instance, 31 shots. Another thing I found interesting about this perk is that depending on the magazine size, it is possible that you may not even get to 5 stacks. Now I would take that last bit of information with a grain of salt, but based on some testing, it is scarily possible for some weapons to only reach a max stack of 4. So in the end, is target lock worth it? Honestly, I think it can be, but in most areas of the game, I'm gonna say no. My main issue with this perk comes down to two things. Number one, the strictness of the perk. While a damage boost of 40% is really good, losing all from one missed shot or from letting go of the trigger is a big trade-off and is a massive risk to take. If you were to use this perk, you're basically saying that you're willing to stay out in the open enough to hit a target to build the stacks of this perk up, and in higher end content and in boss fights where this perk would shine, it is simply too risky. Another thing that throws this perk and many other DPS options out of the conversation are the main DPS options we have right now like Linears. I won't harp on this too much as we know that Linears are receiving a nerf come Lightfall, but this is also another reason for my now somewhat lack of interest in the perk. What I do want to say though is that while I won't be recommending the perk for heavy weapons, I still think it could be good on primary weapons like the 7th Seraph Carbine and the Reckless Endangerment from the Vanguard Ops playlist, but it also competes against other DPS options, so it will be personal preference in the end. As some closing thoughts, I'd love to see Bungie maybe tinker with the strengthness of this perk a bit. 
like allow just a teeny tiny bit of wiggle room for it if you need to duck for cover or maybe readjust your aim. Maybe we'll see that come lightfall, but who knows. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. If you found it helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing for more Destiny content dropping every week. If you have any questions regarding this perk or something else I didn't mention, then be sure to drop a comment below and I'll be sure to answer it. Also, a few hours from now, I will be going live on YouTube for the return of Indecisive Dungeons, so if you want to come watch that live, then be sure to tune into my live stream. As I stream right here on YouTube, it would be more than happy to have you all come by and say what's up. Finally, you can find all of my social media accounts linked in the description below. With that being said, I'm Sniper Cage, and I'm out. Good luck with gaming.